Group Calendar. The Teco Master Group Calendar gives a clear view of what workers have done on a range of days. This calendar allows you to view a number of workers at once. You can use the Group Calendar to ensure you don't have missing data, to check infringements have been dealt with, to see how data has been collected, to amend data and help look for trends. There are four main areas on the group calendar. The data selection and filtering section, the legend or icon description, the main display of the calendars, and if you click on a day, the day display. The data selection determines what is displayed or filtered on the main area. What date range is shown is determined by the start date and time span fields. Start date shows the first day that will be displayed in the first column of worker days. You can type in a new start date or choose by clicking on the calendar icon and selecting the date. The default display will always be seven days prior to today. To move forward and back, click on the double arrow icon and your group calendar will move in the amount of days in the time span field. The number of days shown is determined by the time span. You may view 7, 14, 28 or 56 days at once. You can also filter by sites, agency, department, supervisor and employee type. Once you have chosen which days to display and other filters, click apply. Your group calendar display will now be updated. Should you have a large number of workers selected, you can click on the letter of the alphabet. The workers display will start at that specific letter. To go back to the start, click on all. At the bottom of the page, it is also possible to change the number of workers shown per page from the default 20 to either 40 or 60. To move forward or back through the pages, click on the page number. Now you have decided what to display, workers' names will appear on the left of the screen in column 1. The employee type is shown in column 2. P for permanent, A for agency, C for casual. The legend or icon description gives an indication of what is shown on each day. A blue rectangle for where there is digital data, a purple trapezium shape for working time directive data, and a yellow circle for analog chart data. If a day is filled with red, then the worker has at least one infringement on that day. The infringement has been printed if the top right hand corner has a green triangle. A day filled grey signifies that the worker was not working for your company that day, maybe because the worker had recently joined the company or was an agency driver not employed that day. If the driver has leave for that day, then an oval shape is shown with one or two letters and colour to signify what the leave type is. If you are not sure what the leave type is, click on the day for more information. When you click on any specific day, more detail of what the worker has done that day is displayed. The worker name, date, what type of data is collected for the day and if there are any infringements. Click on the eye symbol to display the worker day. This worker day display will show the tachograph data. Click on WTD day view to see working time data. You can also navigate to the worker calendar, worker summary and edit worker screens from here. The calendar symbol will take you to the worker calendar. Click the edit day symbol to add working time data or click on print to print an infringement for the worker for that day. If you wish to add leave or rest for a range of workers displayed, hold the control key down and click one day. As soon as you click, a choice of what to do with that day appears. Click as many days as you wish and then click on review, leave and save. A list of your chosen days is shown. Now select the type of leave you want to add from the drop-down menu and click Save Leave.